All right, today we are playing a monsters expedition through puzzling exhibitions. This is going to be wonderful. I know that already. Um, it's a game by Alan Hazelton and Co. It's got the about page. Um, Dragneck and Friends is the official title, I guess. Um, so Alan is also the designer of A Good Snowman is Hard to Build, Cosmic Express, Sokoban. So I haven't played Sokoban, I've played the other two. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting another game as well. Um, and, well, there's plenty of other puzzle script games, but those are the commercial ones. Um, so yeah, I've played A Good Snowman is Hard to Build, I've played Cosmic Express, and I want to get back to them at some point because I feel like it's been long enough since I played them that it'd be worth another, another go. Um, but this just came out, um, and I've, you know, I've seen it for a while, I've seen it being in development. Um, I don't know too much about it, I know the basics of like, you, you, you're a monster and you push trees down, um, and you roll them around, but I've only seen bits and pieces, Cut no more than you've re you really seen, like the trailer or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's play. Hello, can I actually get on the boat? Oh, I can sit at the edge. <laughs> See, it's lovely already. <laughs> Bring the music in when the log gets pushed over. It's those kind of details that really make a game feel nice and polished. And I think this game does a lot to, from what I've heard, it does a lot to kind of be nice to the player. It's not um, it's not excessively difficult like a lot of Sokoban games are. Uh, I guess I want to get this tree over there. Although, let's go take a look at this. Read. Museum for Humans Scale Model. Humans preferred their museums to be indoors. This initially seemed baffling to monsters, especially given the amount of dusting we avoid by keeping objects outside. Experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoors may have been part of England's efforts to hide and store museums' collections of stolen property. So yeah, I think this is going to be full of... It's like looking at things that humans do from an outside perspective, I guess. And probably I'm like... I bet there's secrets I could have found already. Um, because my understanding of this game is that there's probably like a main sequence of puzzles that you can kind of go through quite easily, but there's also ways of like getting to different islands all over the place, um, it, like if you do things slightly differently. So logs roll. So if I push that that way, it's going to keep going and fall in the water. So I need to get it here. Uh, I guess I can just push it over like that. I guess it's tempting to think of this as being a bit like Steven Sausage Roll, but it's not actually really, is it? Um, like, just because you're rolling stuff, the mechanics is actually completely different. This is actually more like... It's like normal block pushing with ice block pushing, but only on one axis. Oh, okay, so if, I'm all, if I stand on the the stump, I can stand onto the, the log and lift it back up. I've remade the tree. Nothing, nothing wrong with that tree, it's perfectly fine. Plinth. Humans like to put objects on boxes called plinths. At first, monster experts didn't know why. But then strangers kept thinking the, plin the plinthless exhibits were lost property and handing them in at the help desk. Turns out plinths are very important. Okay, uh, actually I want that to get back, don't I? So I can push it that way, pull it against that, and do this. Uh, yeah. Neat. Oh, no? Oh, so you can't walk onto a log in that direction. And interesting, okay. So even though that's landing end first, that still ends up being vertical. But yeah, you can only walk across a log if it's in the direction you're walking. Okay. Uh, now we have two. 
Well, that's an obvious thing to do. Certificate of Excellence. Okay, this isn't a human object, but we won the Monster Travel Award for the museum. Look, there's a trophy too. Except we sort of knocked it over. Now there's a bit missing, so it's the mending. So it's in the mending cupboard at the head office. But the certificate is great. Uh, oops. So okay, so if I push that there, oh, it's telling me to reset. So I've probably done something wrong. But I'm presuming I can stand here, but I can't walk off. Oh, it just rolls. Is that gonna have? Is that gonna do something at some point? That's kind of Steven Sausage Rolly. <clears throat> I'm not gonna find the. I'm not gonna try and find the secret stuff yet. I know it's coming at some point. Doesn't really help me because I have to push it back on. Oh, then I can push it there and push it down. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I guess I just walked around it for no real reason. Hmm. Sure. Push it against that rock. Hmm. <clears throat> so this is going to be a problem if I push it that way. So if I roll it that way, we're in trouble. I can't walk over that. Can I like roll this around? Oh, I can roll it against the stump. And roll it that way. Neat. Okay, what is this? Q hair sign. Humans from England land love to Q. Or is it England land? <laughs> love to Q. We don't know exactly why, but expert monsters speculate that standing outside for long periods of time is why these humans develop such a close interest in what the weather was doing. Probably true. Clearly, there's, there's that way I could go. I like how he sits down at the side. <clears throat> Problem is, I can't really go that way because this tree doesn't give me much choice. I guess we're going that way. Hello. <laughs> Alright. I can see the map at least. And there's a lighthouse over there. And the windmill. So this is giving me some landmarks, that's nice. Although only those two. It's interesting that there's no landmarks over here sticking out the clouds. Presumably that's going to be fast travel at some point, since there's a post box. It'll probably send me somewhere. Did a bunch of letters come out after me? I think they did. Uh, Sure, I'm definitely doing like all the least interesting things I could be doing. Holiday lies. Holiday and humans like to send pictures they didn't take to people they didn't like, claiming that they wish those other humans were present. Oh, I see postcards. Uh, note: Please do not put this exhibit in the monsters post. In in the monster post, replica holiday lies are available in the gift shop. Right, so the monsters are happy with replica postcards. Uh, do I need to form two? I need to put two in a row. I do have two trees. Mm, yeah, I can do it. Actually, how does that work once they push? So I push you on top of you. Presumably you just roll over. Oh no, you form a raft. Okay, so I have seen that. I don't know how it operates though. I can't move it. What was happening when I walked down? I was just sitting down on the edge, okay. Okie dokie. I want to go up that way, in which case I need to. Ugh. Well, we could go down instead. Can we? Well, that's no good. What happens if we push these into each other? Okay, it rolls the one that bumps into it. I wonder if that happens if it rolls over a distance, probably. Like, do they keep knocking into each other? But I can't walk over that, so that's no good. So what can I really do differently here? 
push you there, sure. What was if I push you onto another? Ooh, you're on top of the stump. And now you're in there, okay. Uh... What can I do with this at all? I need something to be in here, but like vertically. Without it rolling off the edge. How would that ever work? Oh, it's the, the little hi-hat sound <laughs> every time I press and do. I thought it was part of the music. Very subtle. I mean, could I get two in a row here? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I don't want to offset it. I want to get both of them. Now how would I... The problem is, as soon as I push... I'm going to push one of them that way. Now it's against that edge. What happens if I roll you to the left now? I can't. Okay. What happens if... Uh... Oh, can I form a raft out of them again? Okay, we just learned about rafts. Yes, and now I can walk across it. Okay, if there's a raft there, you can walk across it in either direction. Stanchion and ropes. What's stanchion? Stanchion. Is that a word? This is another human museum magic trick. If you put little metal poles around an exhibit, visitors will still get too, will still get too close and prod it, but if you connect the poles using velvet ropes, an invisible wall pops up and the exhibits are safe. <laughs> I see. <laughs> ah, that can't be the only reason for that tree. Also, there's an island down there on the right. Well, this can only go there. Or there. I could be making another raft, or I could be making... Well, I I am going to be making another raft. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, could I be making a, like a two-wide bridge from here to the, to the next island? I don't think so, because that would have to go in there horizontally, but we can't. <laughs> Just spin that around. Push it around on here. I guess I could just lift you onto that stump and then push you down. <laughs> a plaque. <laughs> Description of a plaque on a plaque. The most recent human museum trick the monster experts have discovered is plaques. Any information on the plaque felt truthier to humans, even if it was just a guess. Researchers are still trying to determine if the same is true for monsters. Shall we get to the windmill? Can we get to the windmill? Oh, we can make a raft there. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, what are we doing? Pushing that that way. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to the lighthouse instead. Nice. I'm going a long way. I'm in a completely different area. Holy moly. Can I see a map if I press like escape or anything? Do I have to find a thingy? Oh, okay. Shift does that. 
control do you think let's check the options controls keyboards look around zoom in zoom out interesting grid how's it look with a grid yeah i'm fine without the grid zoom in zoom out it's not doing anything that's the look around. Whoa. Whoops. I just turned on sticky keys. Classic. Okay. Has anybody ever wanted sticky keys? Okay, so if I make a raft and then push off something, I can sail across the water. Cool. was bad because now we can't push it that way so let's do push it down against that rock then that way there we go nice I should think about if I can ever push off the rocks in a different direction than the most obvious way okay so this rock lets me get back across climbing wall human storage rack apparently the hooked protrusions on this wall suggest it performed a similar function to the familiar human coat rack. Instead of collecting coats, it allowed users to store multiple humans without them getting crumpled or wrinkled. Indeed. Uh, okay, so I want to be making a ramp there. So let's do this, that. A ramp? A raft. Raft is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, I've done that wrong. Do I want to push that against that rock? Yes. Oh, but I could totally push off. I'd struggle to push off on those other rocks. I think. I wonder if you can like make a way of stopping part way and push off like that rock at the top or something. Well, that has no effect. No. Oh. Inflatable flamingo. Not much is known about how this species of buoyant plastic waterfowl evolved in England land. Our best guess is that traditional feathered flamingos got fed up with standing on one leg and decided to adopt extreme flotation techniques instead. That must be it. It's the only explanation. Are we going that way? We're going that way. Clearly there's another use for this log though, because this is too simple. Hmm. What happens if... Oh, I can't really do anything I want to do. I can walk around the back of this, but there's a reason for that. I now push that onto there. Can I make a super raft? No, I can do that. Can I offset this by one somehow? The fact that I can walk around the back of that feels important. That does exactly what I expect. There's going to be some weird interaction here. I can't step off it while well, though. Maybe the point is that I make a different shaped passage. Because like, what happens if I go over here and then reset? I can now like use a single tree. Huh. But why? <laughs> why would I want to do that? I can do it. Hmm. 
like how natural all of the actions feel. Now I've built a raft there. Huh. Can't step off onto that. Well, let's just leave you. Oh, but then I can't go that way. But I could have my reset. <laughs> it's interesting. So you're resetting only the logs that came from your the island that you're currently on. Well, if I push the log, because presumably I could at some point be able to push a log onto another island. What, what does that do? Okay, we have a second post box. Okay. So I went a long way. I've done so many islands already. This game is going to be huge. Uh, this obviously also feels too simple. Okay, I'm going to mess with that afterwards. I'm very suspicious of that stuff. Am I just kicking that rock? Are all the rocks kickable? Yes. <laughs> I'm punching the rock. So we want to get over there. Probably we want to push off this rock. This is going to be a one-way trip though. This will very much be one way. Oh, I think I want to take that around the top. There we go. Well, I can push upwards. Where will we go? I'm not sure. Loose change. This trove of cash was excavated from the velvety nooks and crannies of the seating at the Phoenix Movie Palace when the theatre was refurbished in 2042. The total value of the coins at that time was just enough to cover the cost of two standard off-peak cinema tickets and a small popcorn. Nothing else to do here. Except go this way. We're we going to another place. Presumably they will all connect up at some point. Wow, a ring. A giant ring. Oh, I'm making myself a coffee. I wonder if this is like... Let's just keep going until I interrupt it. Why do anything else? This is fine. <laughs> Whoa, don't just throw it. <laughs> okay, now we have extra tall trees. So we could just go this way and see what this is. A pen. Leech powered pen. Before humans harnessed the power of steam, they tried to harness the power of leeches. Instead of traditional cottages, this leech powered pen uses leeches fed on blood flavoured ink. What on earth? <laughs> okay. Now I need to find out how these interact with this stuff as well. Presumably in the same way, but can you make a giant raft out of them? No, oh, I guess. Actually, what do I want to do with this at all? Okay, so the monster looks over the edge if you do that. What is the purpose of this? I can do that. Oh, I can push over there, I see. Whoa, okay, so we can't lift that up, it just shoves it along. Uh, should I figure out what was, else was going on? Down here. Push it against that stump, maybe? Like this, and then that way. Animations are amazing. Uh, push this down, and then to the left. Uh, I was going to push it up. That's not going to work. 
Oh wait, why don't I just push it? Oh. Don't want it to go up there. I think I want to push it down first actually. Then. I see that. I'm not sure why I want to do that at all. I want it to be on that top row if I'm going to be pushing it horizontally. I'm potentially pushing it vertically. <clears throat> There's no reason I want to push it down there because I won't be able to get to it. get around it. Is the music entirely timed with my movements? It is, isn't it? Yeah, if I don't do anything it like calms down a bit. Yeah. And if I move? Or if I push something? Hold on. That's it. And then we push the block? There we go, more music, that's really cool. Okay, what happens if I push? Oh, I can't get around to the bottom of it. So. So, what am I doing? How do I do this at all? I can't push that to the left. I can push you that way. Push you in the water, but that's no good. <laughs> like the music of rolling a log in the water. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't see. What else I could do? Why is this space here? I can't push it from there, can I? Oh, I can! Interesting, so you don't actually have to be able to walk into the space that you're pushing. Wow, okay. Concrete birthday cake. A cadre? Is that how you say that word? <laughs> I don't know. Of uh, rebel bakers started making concrete cakes to protest the England land cake industry's obsession with light and fluffy textures. The cakes became very popular as they could be rinsed clean of icing and reused for different occasions. This one also doubled as an anchor. <laughs> Alrighty. We have another post box. Lighthouse, we made it. First glance, this is supposed to be a lighthouse. In fact, it is the Elysium or lure of a gigantic anglerfish. Oh, <laughs> wow, it has windows. These predators outpace their subaquatic food supply and learn to, learn to prey on human sailors by dangling their pulsing lure above the water. Let's just check out where we are. What's our current situation? So we went all the way down there, we came back up here, we went through the ring, and that was the starting place that we were doing. Alrighty. And yeah, okay, it is a fast travel thing. So I could go here and press space, I guess? I mean, it's not telling me to press space, but I'm presuming that would work. Let's stay here. An island over there. Presumably this tree can also get you there, but you'd need some way to 
come over this way, which I certainly could think of. Oh, we need to go like around the big circle, wouldn't you? Because like to reset that, I need to be over there. Well, actually, we can find out what happens. We can't find out what happens if we push two tall trees together. Yeah. I think that is what that's going to be though. At some point I'm going to take this over that way and push it into that space. Possibly. But for now we're going to push it in there. Oh, go this way. A cream tea. Arguments over, <laughs> I see, whether the jam or the cream's on top. Uh, arguments over whether the cream or jam should be applied to us going first. Escalated during the 2500s. Tensions culminated in the cream tea conflict, 2576 to 2578, when Devonian and Corn Cornish zealots waged mid afternoon warfare on the Gingham battlefield. Okay, this is where we make a, a double raft. Yes, where does the rope come from? It's gonna take me to a new area or back to somewhere I've been? Well, what happens if you just push out into the infinite distance? Unread books, to ease their collective angst, humans held and I want to be the kind of person who reads this, but it turns out I'm not, and I feel bad. Book amnesty in 2025. Well, that's pretty soon. The, the move freed up 9.38 square kilometers of bedside table or surface space. Okay. You can make an entirely new kind of puzzle out of this, just like walking back and forth and pushing up rocks. Maybe that's what we're going to get. No, looks like we're going to get some normal tree pushing stuff. Laundry storage rack. <laughs> I see. This peculiarly ornate laundry rack features a surprising number of moving parts. Once or twice per year, a human would clear away the clothing and sit on the contraption, pedaling furiously. Presumably this reactivated the rack's storage power as laundry would soon start to reappear. Uh, wait, how, that's the double height one for sure. I could just push you in there, but that feels weird. We could also just go this way. There's something down there. Isn't it just another scone with stuff on it? Or is it like a. Oh no, it's a Jeffy Dodger. Is it a Jeffy Dodger? Uh, okay. Wait, don't I just want to do... No, I don't want to just do this. It feels bad to push anything into that space. Oh, but it's good because it's going to block this from rolling too far. Right. I can push that that way. Jammy biscuits. Of all the preserved human snacks we have on Earth, monster experts are fondest of jammy biscuits. Apparently they love the aesthetic of ruby red jam against golden shortbread. I stress that experts have not been nibbling the exhibits. Do we trust them? Certainly looks like something's been nibbling. Um, well, so, okay, so the easiest thing to do is push, no. It's not the easiest thing to do. I could go there, but then what? What are we doing? Oh, 
Oh, will there be one place where I have to like push off the exhibit itself? Maybe. I can only really usefully push this this way. And then I can use that to roll that against. And then, oh, it knocked it over. That's interesting. And this can very easily just go there, but there's clearly more to do. Okay, we have another post box. Wow, we are exploring, eh, exploring this place quickly. Um, well, then there's probably, like, can we get an idea how big this is? <laughs> I mean, it's huge. It's huge. I'm assuming like, ooh, what's that? Something sticking out there. Yeah, all the space is going to be filled with islands. Except there's, there's clearly some like fairly large spaces of open water as well. So maybe it's not entirely full. But I think this is going to be a pretty big game. 